Let's get straight into the new subscribers. Talk of AEW budget problems within the WWE locker room. Let's get straight into it. Tony Khan has been signing virtually every WWE release superstar they can get their hands on. The AEW headman Tony Khan brought in names like Daniel Bryan, CM Punk and Adam Cole. But the tide is now shifting back to WWE's favour. Kevin Owens recently signed a huge money deal that AEW was unable to match due to budgetary reasons. Sami Zayn also followed and Tony Khan was sure out to have signed both of them. Tony Khan has now been waiting for a new and more lucrative TV rights deal that he expects to start in 2024. Is that the reason why Cody Rhodes has decided to leave? AEW has been working within a budget when it comes to signing talent. Until then, in this week's Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Maltas spoke and spoke about how WWE Locker Room thinks that AEW has a budget cut problem. AEW has continued to sign released WWE superstars like Keith Lee. They haven't been so keen to get involved in high-priced bidding wars with Vince McMahon. Seems why we haven't saw Bray Wyatt on AEW television. Some WWE's employees are wondering if AEW will be able to compete for top names in the next two years. As I said at the beginning of the video, people, there is a reason why Cody Rhodes has decided to leave. If he can't make a million with him and his wife alone, his work there is done, people, and he's going back to the big leagues. Give the video a thumbs up, hit that bell, share, subscribe.